Hello, this is a, uh, this is video is not an attack on all feminism, because I kind of like feminism in general, because sexism is bad, yo. Anyway, this is just sort of, uh, a worry I have about more ideological feminists. My worry is that they, they seem to tend to read into things too much, to the things that aren't even there. Like, um, arguing that... They seem to argue that things are sexist without enough evidence, I think. The giving an example of kind of... of what reading in is, is it's... What they do is very similar to, like, those cartoon theories. You know, like, Ed, Ed and Eddie is really a show about purgatory. You know, you, you, can, you can read into cartoons how they're really horror stories and stuff like that. Or how the Rugrats is re it's really a show about uh, how all, their, all the children are dead and Angelica's a crazy person. See, that's reading into something that isn't there. That's uh, reinterpreting the show. I worry that feminists do that a lot when they uh, look at video games and movies. And they, they tell a story about the game, like, oh, uh, video games, uh, yeah, this is, this is really just a expression of male psychology and male fantasy and all this, and they, they go into this whole spiel, and like, look, this woman here is a little attractive, it must mean that men think of women as objects, because we like that so straight men uh, like that when women are attractive. And because we like attractive women, we must see them as objects only. Which, of course, doesn't follow at all. <laughs> like, just because I, I like attractive women doesn't mean that it's objectification. Just because you like looking at sexy women doesn't mean that you think of them as objects. You know, like... Like in comic books, I like color. I, I like a feature of comic books where they have color. Is color all that I care about when it comes to comic books? Of course not, because I read like I read manga. Just because you like one aspect of something doesn't mean you only like that one aspect, and that you. You think that that aspect's the only thing that matters. So yes, I do l enjoy the attractiveness of women, but just because I enjoy their attractiveness doesn't mean that that's the only aspect that I think that matters. It just does not follow. <laughs> and without further, they would need further argumentation to prove that you know sexuality in media really is you know objectification. So yeah, that's my two problems there. They read into um, media, they reinterpret it in very creative manners, and then they uh, make it appear as if it is, that's really how it is. And uh, also their objectification argument just doesn't follow. Like I can come up with more examples. I think that the fact that apples are kind of neat looking it doesn't follow that all I care about when it comes to apples is how they look. Cause I also care about how they taste. You know, uh... Or with... With beds. I like that they're uh, nice to lay on. It doesn't mean that that's all I care about about them. I, they also have to look neat. They look like with women. I, I care about what they look like. But that doesn't mean that's all I care about. There's, I also, it's also important that I have a good personality, and they're, they're not jerks to people all the time. So yeah, objectification does not follow until I hear further evidence beyond just, these women are all sexualized. Like, sure, whatever. And another problem, the third problem I have with ideological feminism is patriarchy. There may be patriarchy to an extent, or a pattern of patriarchy, like it exists. But to say that it's this overwhelming, overarching thing that controls all of society just seems absurd to an extent. Like, if you would need to prove that in every single instance, uh, sexism is told. Like, you'd have to, you'd have to literally prove that everything is sexist, <laughs> which just seems to be what they try to do and fail. 
not everything sexist, and that's what it seems like you would have to do in order to prove an overall a uh, overall super patriarchy. Now, of course, there may be some kind of patriarchy going on in society, but you have to do, you have to do. It seems very difficult to make the stronger claim that it's in everything we do, because uh, sexism is not very popular. It's it's on the par with being racist. It's not not very popular either. Because if we did live in this all pervasive patriarchy, then uh, people could be known to be sexist and not ostracized. But actually, in our society, like if if a uh, an actor was sexist, he probably would be out of the job. It, it, it'd be very hard for him. Or if an anchor was super sexist, or if a boss. And there's even laws against it, so it doesn't say there's an. Op there may be some, but it's not all. You know, so yeah. So that's why I'm worried about really extreme forms of feminism, uh, making inferences that do not follow, coming to conclusions that don't seem to work, or making claims without enough evidence, especially in the. Um, even though there seems to be evidence that contradicts it. On top of that, I want you all to Google something that's called confirmation bias. I worry that when more ideological feminists um, try to do their cultural theories, they commit confirmation bias. A lot. A lot, a lot. So yeah. Google confirmation bias.